Welcome to Family Features, a podcast for anyone who wants to experience healthy relationships within their family. This is Dr. Corey Gilbert, and I'm honored to come alongside you to encourage, educate, and equip you as we focus on the different relationships that make us family. Let's get started and focus on today's feature. Hey there, welcome to the Family Features Podcast. My name is Dr. Corey Gilbert. Have you ever been struck by the way that you could trick yourself or try to trick yourself into thinking something is true when it's not? It's interesting how we um, interact with our thoughts and our emotions. Um, Lately, I've been thinking a lot about how easy it is for us to attempt to make ourselves feel better by lying to ourselves, or attempt to believe something by lying to ourselves. If you look at what scripture talks about, about who the author of of truth is and who the author of lies are, is, is, it just doesn't work. And it actually really kind of struck me recently how if we're not careful, we buy into a very scary um, way to manage our life. We really are lying to ourselves to try to feel better. And I don't know about you, that has not really ever worked for me. Uh, I'm not seeing that work with clients that I talk with all the time as well. You must tell yourself the truth. And that means every thought that you have, you have to run it through a filter of whether it's true, capital T true, or a lie. What you believe matters. Um, your, your emotions tell you some data, but they aren't necessarily truth. Actually, I'd almost go carefully say rarely or tr- it's true. It's information but we have to decide what's true about it when you're angry you need to look at whether you are angry for the right reason and it's a good thing to be angry about and you can do something about it Um, but if you lie to yourself and say i'm not angry but you really are it's funny how that doesn't work if you're happy in your marriage and you're telling the truth it's amazing how peaceful things can be but if you're trying to lie to yourself to convince yourself you are it this doesn't go over too well. Why? Because Satan is the father of lies. He wants you to believe that you're okay when you're not, because he knows things will fall apart, and then you'll really, really want to give up. And so it's kind of struck me the way that we talk to ourselves. You and I have, it's kind of like we have multiple personality disorders. We have lots of different parts to us. We're very complicated um, personalities. We react to those different parts of us in different ways. And when I am afraid, I need to look at what am I afraid about? Is it something I can control? Is it something that I should potentially be afraid of? Or is it a fear that is founded in, well, Satan? It's a lie. And I need to look at it and tell it to go away and have a different kind of reaction to it versus I'm just going to lie to myself and act like I'm okay. Now, this sounds like you're playing games with yourself, and you actually are. And the sad thing is, on either side of this, you're playing games with yourself. You're playing your game with yourself when you lie to yourself. And again, I promise, it just that doesn't go too well. But you're also convincing yourself in a way, as in taking every thought captive, what is true? What is true? What's true about my marriage? What's true about my kids, my life, my finances? Uh, tell yourself the truth and it's a very different uh, relationship with yourself and with others and with who God wants you to be. You're able to grow when you're telling yourself the truth. You're stuck when you're not. You're able to forgive. You're stuck if you're, you're telling yourself a lie. So being able to be set free requires truth. Telling yourself the truth and it's really an internal battle, if you will, of kind of the Satan on one shoulder and it'll angel on the other kind of picture as we've seen. But you must, must, must be able to kind of sit sit there and have this thought come in and set it aside or in front of you and look at it and go, is this really true? Have these emotions and are these of God? Are they godly? Are they good? Are they unhealthy and they're not? And tell yourself the truth. And so I don't know if you've thought about this way, but that's the critical dividing line of true and, and a lie, truth and a lie. Um, this is going to change the way you view your emotions. It's going to change the way you view the different parts of yourself. That there's a part of you that feels angry. And you know what? That's okay to feel angry because you just feel angry. 
That's a and some of the words since that's a fact. What you do with that anger is a whole different story. So being able to choose what I do with it is different than surrendering to the anger and just kind of reacting, kind of almost out of control, or trying to lie to myself and act like I'm not angry when I actually am, or when I'm afraid, or when I'm questioning things. Tell yourself the truth. So I hope this is actually helpful to help you think through, are you telling yourself the truth? Or are you lying to yourself to try to convince yourself to be to be better or do better or be a good Christian or be a good husband or wife or parent or employee? Tell yourself the truth. And then once you are there in truth, the decisions become a lot more clear and a lot, I would even say, more simple. They might still be hard to do, but they're a lot more um, accessible, I guess you could say. So bless you, bless your marriage, and may you... Um, really change the world around you by who you are and how you tell yourself the truth. Thank you for tuning in to the Family Features Podcast. It has been an honor to serve. Find out more about Dr. Gilbert and his resources for you and your family's growth and success at HealingLives.com. And if you think you could use some support along the way, be sure to book that call at BookDrG.com. And one more thing, If you found this helpful, please share this podcast with others so that we can change the world together.